For those who do not know, my name is Nathan. I've had the pleasure of knowing Maddie and Parker now for a few years. My wife, Abby, and I are beyond blessed to have made so many memories with the both of them. Their story began at the University of Pittsburgh. It was after a night of hanging out with a group of their friends that they found themselves atop of a rooftop, deep in conversation. Time seemed to stop. Hours felt like minutes. And it wasn't until that the sun had risen that they had realized truly how much time they had spent together. Oh, you're like the sun coming up. You make my world come alive. From that conversation that ensued, it was clear that they both found attraction for one another, a shared sense of adventure, and a genuine appreciation for each other's company. Even though we may look like twins, Madeline and I are really opposites in a lot of way. She likes things that feel like intense manual labor to me. She likes to go camping, and she likes to spend 12 hours smoking a brisket. Madeline is the life of the party, and she brings the highest energy into a room. I can always count on her to hype me up, or to bring me back down to earth when I need it. She's who I call when I need an honest opinion, or if either of us just need a good rant. Parker, her and I may be opposites at times, but you really compliment her and bring out the best in her. Oh, you're like the sun Nothing has made me happier than watching Madeline find her partner in crime who can keep up with her crazy fast pace, and together they really have lived life to the fullest. Can't get Robert Frost once wrote, two roads diverged in a yellow wood. I always wanted to start a speech with that, but I was never smart enough to be a valedictorian, so I just, just thought I'd throw that in. Anyway, Madeline, it was a real treat watching her grow up. From her infancy through her school age years, she was such a happy child. From her infectious smile, her sunny disposition, her boundless joy, she was a real pleasure to be around. It is written in Proverbs 3.3, 3, let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Maddie and Parker, it is clear to your friends, your family, and everyone that you have ever met that, that is truly what you two embody. Parker and Maddie were made for each other. They do everything to make each other comfortable. They're so in sync with each other. They got each other's backs. I'm extremely happy to invite you to our family and have you, Maddie. And I know you guys are going to crush it on all of your adventures. You make my world Kind, loving, selfless, athletic, handsome. So that's enough about me. Let's talk about Parker. You are my son. So myself and Parker have been best buds for as long as I can remember, dating back over 23 years. I just want to welcome Maddie to the family. Excited to welcome you as a sister I never had to a long, happy, healthy marriage. So cheers. Hi Parker. Thank you, Maddie. To be my beloved wife. Hi Maddie. Take you, Parker. To be my beloved husband. To have and to hold you. To honor and to treasure you. To be at your side in sorrow and in joy. In the good times and the bad. And to love and to cherish you always. I promise from my heart for all my days. I promise with all my heart for the rest of my life. Parker and Madeline have their own twist on the Robert Frost poem. Two roads diverged in a wood, and we, we took the one that led us as far away from Pennsylvania as possible. That's a sad reality for all of us who consider you special in our lives. But we remain confident that armed with intellect, bravery, joy, and optimism, you're well prepared for the adventures that lie ahead of you. We love you and we wish you well. It is with an abundance of pleasure that I now pronounce you husband and wife. Parker, you may kiss your bride. <laughs>